join me in one of the largest rare plant events in Southeast Asia, the Bangkok International Exotic Plant Show and Sale. Truly exciting as more than 100 vendors across the world come to showcase and sell their best. We will see many plants here today that you've not seen before. They are very good at aeroids and if the regular alocasia is not diva enough, we now have the variegated versions. Some leaves are so colorful here, they can really put some flowers to shame. And 2023 is truly the year where tissue culture rare variegated plants really come into the market, so making them much more accessible. Stay tuned to find out how much they cost. Hi everyone, my name is Irene and today I am in a very exciting plant show. First up is Kida's Nursery and here you can see some delicious variegated plants here. This is the Gloria Sub and if you move up over there, that is a huge monstrous Billy ATA. Now let's look out for more. Okay, we have arrived at this amazing anthurium I want to show you. This is a variegated anthurium. I forgot the name. So this is the anthurium red phoenix variegated. The price on this is mind-blowing. It is at 3 million Thai baht or 84,000 US dollars. And I've been told both pots had been sold. So I heard some buyers from US has stepped up this gorgeous plant. And oh yeah, I think we have here the anthurium regale. And then we have this beautiful ace of spades. Wow, it is so dreamy, so magical. Very nice, big and dark, a beautiful anthurium. Not sure what it is, it looks like it's got this papilaminum kind of parentage. And now my eyes are caught by this stall that's called Oh My Plants. And look at this gorgeous homalominas. They are pink. Come a lot closer. And there are all sorts of gorgeous pink. This is like a more palish pink. This one looking a lot more vibrant. Maybe it's because it's a new leaf. So gorgeous, guys. And that one's totally pink. I wonder if that's like, could survive on its own. Oh my God, they look as good as, as flowers, if not better. Look at that. And then there is also the Homelomena pink minted and that's this one over here look at this leaf so you can see the pinkish and a little bit minty and there is the homolumina that is like green mint and that's way over there here you go and this is the green mint homolumina and then right over here in front, we've got the Homalomena variegated that is Aurea. These are considered Aurea. They have this yellowish sort of variegation. I am with Kun Pita now and her shop here is called Oh My Plant. And look at this. Oh my God. Tell us about this alocasia. Okay. This alocasia is local to the Philippines. It's a newly discovered um, alocasia. I mean, newly named. They just obviously named it alocasia shattered glass. It's pretty new alocasia in the market. So if you guys are interested, you can come visit us. Yeah, I have not seen this around, so I think it's pretty rare, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really hard to find. Yes, and uh, the price tag here is about 50 55,000 Thai baht? That's correct, yeah. Okay, I did not bring 55,000 with me today. I'm very sorry. Yeah. Cut the leaf. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then there's another one here I've yes. not seen before too. Uh, this one is a uh, Lokashir Corazon. It's variegated. Oh. Also local to the Philippines, I believe. Yes, oh my god, a variegated alocasia. Corazon. Corazon. Yeah. It's beautiful. The Corazon is usually a little bit blue, uh, grayish. Yes, yes. And then this one is more like greenish aurea mm -hmm. when it's very right, right, right. Green. Good. 
you said this is the most rare alocasia you've seen? Yes, correct. Uh, so this is one, this one they haven't officially named it yet. Its characteristic is most comparable to Alocasia heterophylla. Where does it come from? This one is from a mound in the um, Philippines. Well, again, Philippines. Yeah, Philippines. Philippines, you have gorgeous, gorgeous alocasia. Yeah, and let us turn this around for your view. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Here we go. Wow. Yeah. How much is this? Well, um, the asking price right now for this pot is one million. One million? I think I better give it back to you <laughs> in case I dropped it or something. <laughs> I am so lucky. I have found Miss Rock. Yeah. She is. Please introduce yourself. Okay. สวัสดีค่ะ Rock ฝรดาวรุ่นรุ่นอัมพานะคะ I'm Miss Tiffany 2020 and I'm actress in Thailand. Wow, beauty queen. Yes. And you love plants? Yes, I love them so much. Can you tell us which is your favorite plant in this booth? Yes. In I think that this plant is Queen of Heart. Queen of Queen Heart. Queen of Heart. Ah. Autorium. It's yes, so beautiful and beautiful form and beautiful plants. Let us take this down and let's have a better look. It's good you are so tall. <laughs> you can reach. Okay, this. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Anthurium Queen of Heart. Queen of Heart. So beautiful. Yes, I think a lot of people now like black. Yes, like dark. black. It's dark. Minimal and easy to take care. Ah, easy to take care also. Mm. Yeah, I don't know this Anthurium. Is Anthurium. it quite new in the market? Yes. Ah, okay. Queen of Heart. Queen of Heart. And Rock of Heart. Rock of Heart. And you? I am Irene. Irene. Yes. All right. So you have just added something to my wish list. Yes. <laughs> I am in this booth now that's called Live with Plants, and yes, this is Jom. Jom. Jom from Thailand. Jom from Thailand, yes. and we have some spectacular plants here. Yeah. Maybe we could start with this one. Can you tell yes. me what this say, is? Yes. Say, say, cocos. Very gadget. Do you know how big this can grow up to be? Oh, it's very big, very, very big. big. When it's going, it's very big. Wow, this is a very special but plant. Yeah. Is it like a kind of palm? No. 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 This is different. Okay. Takes a uh, similar palm, similar to but palm. not same. I think what is really unique here is also this palm. This is, uh, yeah, this is palm. This is the back leaf. Yeah, it is. The onoma, so the tobiens. It's black this is the rare color. one. Truly rare. Yes. And um, this is from, I think, somewhere in Central America. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. This is Your really, normal. really fantastic. It's and then over there, okay. also the Zamia. Yeah. Yes. Sir. This is a beautiful, beautiful genus. So guys, you know, there's a lot of talks on uh, aeroids and we see them around, but these ones, not it's, many people talk about so yes, much, this right? This is new leaf. New leaves tends to be brown. Yeah, this brown. And then the more mature one, they will turn yes, green later. Yes, 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 yes. Let's look at the name. Zamia Amphiphoria. Zamia Amphiphoria. And the price tag here is 50,000 Thai baht. Yes. So it's not a cheap plant. <laughs> yes, because it's a rare one also. It is a rare plant. Very rare. Yes. And this one is a variegated Zamia. Yes, Zamia. Zamia Polydians variegation. Wow, okay. Yes. I don't know this name. So this is what the plant Polydiana. is. And whoa, there's a six wow. digit price tag on it. Are yeah. you sure? Very cool. This 100, is 100,000 baht. 100, baht. Mm, wow. Very rare also. <laughs> very rare and that's why it's, it's so variegation. expensive. Wow, look at that. This is truly one of a kind. Yes. Thank you so much. And grow too slow. Uh, grow very grow slowly. Very yeah, Zamias, they can really hold their price because they are not fast growing plants. Yes. And then they are quite difficult to come by. Yeah. So keep your eyes out on these babies. I am at this booth now. It is called Pure Orchids. And this is Kun first. Yes. 
and she has the most amazing plants. I have never seen a variegated alocasia mellow. May I know how much this is? Uh, 300,000. 300,000. Guys, this is really, really gorgeous. It's like intensely white. And I'm going to show you uh, another leaf that's here. The pattern is so incredible. And Queen First, you have many other nice plants here. Do you want to take out another nice yeah, special which one plant? Like? Anyone? Okay. Is this Alocasia Jacqueline? Yeah. Alocasia Jacqueline that is variegated. Yeah, the texture is very nice. Yes, and it's a little furry also. Gosh. And I can see a price tag here. I'll show everybody. This is 49000 and absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Thank you so much. Oops. Hang on. Uh, all right. What's your YouTube channel? Okay, wait, you hold on. And then this allocation dragon scout variegated caught my eye. It is so gorgeous. Which one is your favorite so far? This one is my favorite. This one is your favorite? Yes. Oh wow, look at that guys, close up. Yeah. I have never ever seen a variegated alocasia dragon scale. It is truly stunning. This one is almost completely elbow though. The white, the white leaf here. So, wow. And then I want to show you the back. Even the back is quite beautiful. This lovely red veins that's running across. So now we're at this booth that says for the good time. And I've just bumped into Gary. Hello, Irene. How are you? Good, thanks. Gary, where are you from? I'm from the UK, um, London. Uh, I now live in Bali. I took the decision to move there in uh, December. Christmas Day I flew out, so ah. I've had enough of the cold. Yes, for... <laughs> and the plants don't do so well in the cold, so... Mm. Okay. And, and Gary's lucky he can afford to then move out and luxuriate in Bali. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then these things have caught Gary and my eyes. I'm just going to pull a pot out now, because this one is really a beauty, I thought. This looks like the clown. Yeah, that, like a Florida clown, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, you know, with the red spots all over it. Like a strawberry something or cranberry, I don't know. What yeah, more like cranberry, I think, um, or cherry, maybe. Okay, let's see, does it have a name? The name is in Thai. What's the name? It's gecko. Gecko. Yeah. This oh. is Canadian gecko. Yeah. Red it's gecko. Red gecko. Yes. Red gecko, okay, yeah. cool. Nice. Okay, let's this is, pull up. This is the one that's actually caught my eye. Oh, this one caught your eye? Because it looks eye? like this is bleeding. You know, like someone's cut it and it's bleeding. Uh, uh, camera, come closer. It's absolutely stunning. My bleeding heart. Okay. <laughs> it's gorgeous. But then to keep this color, you need a good amount of light, yeah. right? I think, I think caladiums in the UK tend to um, be very short-lived. Yeah. And they you know, require a lot of humidity and light as well. Um, yeah. So that's why a lot of people like cut them back down and keep the corn and just grow it in the springtime, summertime, oh. you know, because it's too much hassle. You know, they get crispy during like, the winter. Like tulips. Yeah, 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 okay. tulips, like very seasonal. Okay. But um, absolutely stunning. I've never been a fan of Caladiums until I've seen this, you know, stall. It's um, absolutely beautiful. And then look, they are grown in water. This is quite astonishing. Maybe that's the trick. Yeah, in the How, UK. why are you growing this in water? So. Uh, because I want to share my my everyone. Because they want to think cardam must put in the soil, but yeah. I think no, normally cardam can experiment. Yes, okay. and they have a little baby from water also. Oh, you get babies oh. from the water. So yeah. grow the little bulb? Yeah. Nice. Oh. So how do you, do you feed it regular and change the water regular? Uh, yeah, regular. Mostly maybe drop some fertilizer. A little bit. Just a little yeah. tiny bit, yeah. So how much is this because Gary would like to buy it? Um, and send it home. <laughs> <laughs> this one maybe not yet for sale. This one, Gary, looks gorgeous. This is a beautiful shade of pink. Yeah. Very marbly. Yes, and very compact too. Yeah, it seems so, to be growing like underneath each other, you know, as yeah. you say. But and it's beautiful marble. 
Ah, oh, like a steak. Yeah, I steak. Feel, I feel hungry, actually. You're making me hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you mention food? <laughs> Let's see what else is here. <gasps> One of the rare beasts. And this is the rare beast. Next, I saw the weirdest looking caladium. The shape of its leaves was unlike any other caladium that I've seen before. It looks like it had leaves growing out of its leaves. And I fell in love with it instantly. I want this plant. But this, this one's chair. fascinating as well. Yeah, this one you might have said also. I think this one, I forgot the name. You said, Latanat Hip. Ah, you say your father is a yeah, Caledon yeah, hybrider. Yeah. Let's go and see oh, him. Yeah. Hi, hello. Kukun ka. Very nice Caledon, very pretty. <laughs> which which yeah. is your favorite? This is a recommend. This is one of the best. Mm. Oh. Propagation. It's yeah. like you go to a restaurant with Michelin guide and yeah. I'm like, this is the best. <laughs> the yeah, this is the order. first pandan he hybrid. His name, Prime Person, is Ling He Name. Yeah. Named after himself. Yeah, himself. The breeder. The breeder. <laughs> yeah. So I want to see this crazy love. A crazy love? Like crazy yeah, love. Crazy love. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, this is a kind of uh, leaf like so rain tree. Rain tree is very, very good nitrogen. Okay. But retain a lot of moisture, so well. which uh, yeah. the caladiums will love them. They have to they like the wet. They roots. like the, the wet, moist uh, media and high humidity. Oh, they like a moist media. Yes, they don't like to be dry. Oh. So if you keep them dry, one fine day they will just go dormant. I see. And they go to Bristol. Yeah. This is why in England central heat it dries out the air. Uh, and this is why all the so you must provide a heat. lot of water. Cool okay. Yeah. yeah. So wow. Sit there in a bowl. Yes, sit there in a bowl. Okay. Sit there in a bowl about one inch of water. They love the water. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's good to know. Yes. We are here at the booth that's called the Palmetum of River Kwai. And here there are some really amazing palms. I want to show you especially the molded ones. I think molded palms are so gorgeous. This one here in my hand right now is called the Liquala Maculata. It is a palmate leaf, split leaf and really gorgeous molting. The next one is the one that's right here. It's the Likwala Mapuensis. Very proud to say that this is hailing from Borneo. Borneo is the island that I am from. And then here we have the Likwala SP Kalimantan. So it means that this Likwala comes from Kalimantan and I think they haven't given it a name yet. What else do we find? Oh, this one is even more prominent. The malted patterns. I think this one is what they call uh, a species that's from Vietnam. So they haven't quite given it a name yet. So it's quite a recent discovery, I believe. So have you found anything that really catches your eye? For me, I think the one with the greatest contrast does it for me. And it's a battle between this and the Likwala Mapuensis here. Gorgeous. Hi guys, I've come to a very special booth. This is a couple from Japan. Your name? Yukiko Inukai. Yukiko Inukai and sir? Akosuke Inukai. Okay, and you specialize, I understand, in miniature palms. Yes. yes. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, these palms? Very small miniature palm, many different varieties. Of different varieties. Yes. About okay. 100 to 30. 37. 137 Seven. different varieties. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, nice. From, from 1947. 1947. Seven. Wow. Let me just admire some of the palms here. This one here, FYI, is 12,000 Thai baht. Very good. And then this one is more white color, that one. Yeah. And then the pot is also very nice and unique. <laughs> Thank you. What is the type of pot here you have? Uh, Nishiki pot. Nishiki pot. Yeah. And the craftsman make it one by one. Ah, oh, handy. Yeah, hand, one by one. Hand drawing. Ah. Like okay. white Let's one. Show to the camera. <laughs> wow. 
thank you very much for sharing you. your nice miniature pub with us. Thank you. Thank you. So this is Kida, the owner of this nursery. What do you have? What do you have for us today that's special? Everything we bring here today, everything special. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what is uh, more new here that you've oh, brought? Oh, new here is just the newest. It's um, like uh, philodendron Congo red, like that. Congo Same red. Same like that. Okay, the this one. The one. Ah. Yes, already in tissue culture. Already in tissue culture. I think the, the, the first one in America. How long would it take to get to that size? Uh, maybe one year. One year? What? Up to what you feed them. Oh yeah, you <laughs> feed uh, the cannabis stuff, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> what cannabis I... fertilizer is very good. Cannabis for, fertilizer. For yes. And then this one? This for... is a low cassia bambino. Ah, the bambino. The pink one, uh, elbow one. The pink one. We're here at this booth that is called Game Growth. And as you could see, there are full of tissue culture plants. This one I'm holding in my hand. This is actually the Jose Bueno Variegated. The real mature plants is really pricey, but this is really quite affordable now at 250 baht. And then right next here, what else have we got? Thai, Thai Constellation, Monstera Thai Constellation. Still commanding very good price. At this size, the tissue culture is at 390 baht. What gems? What else do we have here? White wizard, white knight, white princess. Pink princess, if anybody is still very crazy about them, you can buy now a pot of pink princess for 350 baht. And it looks like there is about at least eight to ten plants in here so a very good deal this is kun game yes. and this is his tissue culture business booth tell me a bit more about actually how how long it takes ah. for some plant to be like this some plant is the one year one year yes. okay. some right. Sometimes is the real very flat, right? Yeah. Um, more than three months, more than six months, something like that. Okay. Is there some special plants you like to highlight to us? Yeah. The first one is the Nakari Tans. A variegated. Yes, elbow variegated. Oh. And the second one is the Halokashir Singnota variegated. Can I ask how much is this? Uh, 10,000. Oh. For one plant. This is. Billy. Billy here. Not variegated. It's not variegated. Or green, yes. But there's so many and they're so cute and it's about 150 baht. Yes. For about, it looks like a bit eight plants or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe this one I can afford, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I multiplication state more than plants because I want to get some variegated. Ah. Mm -hmm. one, okay. one, 0.1% from green. Oh, when you tissue culture, mm -hmm. it's like 0.1% that will come up yes. variegated in my lab. In, in my your lab. lab, okay. So when that happens, you strike lottery. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm now in the booth of Sipsiri Garden, and this one caught my eye. This is the Piper SP Morona Santiago. And look at the texture, it's so gorgeous. I'm just gonna pick up some little plants that really caught my eye. This one also caught my eye. This one I have not seen before and the pattern and the contrast is simply amazing. This one is called Leia Zeppeliana. I have never heard of it and I'm not sure where it is from either. If you do know where this is from or you've seen it before, do let me know. And this one here is the Rafi Rodora Tenuous Silver. I love this shop. They have labels for the names of the plants. So isn't that gorgeous? I just love anything that's got this uber, very, very nicely textured leaf. And this one is the Anandendram tricolor, I'm told. The seller was telling me this is from Thailand and it's very rare. Do let me know what you think. I personally feel like um, I can't distinguish many variegated philodendrons anymore. This is looking a little bit even like the Porthos to me, but yeah, I'm sorry. But maybe it will grow up to be something that's really gorgeous and unique. I'm not sure. 
So that's it guys. Hope you've enjoyed the tour and see you in my next video. And don't forget to click like, subscribe and share with everyone. Bye!